Hello Reef DVMs coming at you today with a video showing you how we calibrate HANA checkers for clients when we go into their houses and look at their testers. As you know we do like the HANA testers. We do use the Triton test method where we send out water samples. But sometimes it's just nice to make sure that the HANA checker that people own is actually functioning correctly. There's good and bad to these checker tests though, these calibrators. As you can see, we have them for calcium, alkalinity, phosphorus, phosphate. You need some chem wipes to run them. This particular one here that we're going to start with is the calcium one. It comes with two tubes um, and a guaranteed analysis of what's in those tubes and the range that the checker should figure it out in between. There's good and bad to doing this, folks. Um, the good part is, is you'll get to make sure that your checker is testing within the range that it's supposed to based upon the analysis they give you in the um, calibration kit there. That one was 403, so it's right on the money. You can see we can do the same thing here for the alkalinity one and make sure that these units work properly. The bad part about doing this is, is when you go to somebody's house or you open up a checker and you do these test kits on it, if it's not within range, there's not a lot you can do. You basically got to contact Hannah and give them their darn checker back and tell them to fix it. Um, that that's definitely a bummer because um, we have walked into a checker or two that isn't within spec and you've got to contact them and get a different checker. The um, calcium one and the alkalinity and the phosphorus one are really nice because you can just use your little chem wipe, wipe down the glass tubes and you can reuse them in multiple machines um, to test different um, checkers at different clients places. The bummer with the phosphate one is, is that it has to use one of your little packets of phosphate reagent, so it becomes a one-time use, um, you know, analysis basically. So you can only uh, calibrate that one time. So you pay for the kit each time you want to test a client's phosphate, because you've got to use one of their phosphate packets uh, to make it work. That to me is uh, a very big bummer and kind of irritating. Um, one thing nice about the other three calibration kits is once you own them, um, you can just hang on to them because they are sealed up and you can reuse them, especially if you think a year or two down the road your checker might be getting out of whack or you know maybe you dropped it or you got water in it or you're just not sure it's working anymore. You can always run um, the, uh, the calibration test against it to make sure it's within spec. Very, very frustrating kind of process uh, when you have to use your own reagent like you do in this phosphate one. So every time you want to test your phosphate checker to make sure that it's it's within specs, you'd have to buy um, a new calibration kit. But other than that, we still recommend doing this. We do this at least once. If you've gone through the effort of buying a checker, you might as well at least buy the calibration kit for it to make sure that it's acu actually accurate. Obviously, there's other ways of proving accuracy in our tanks one of which uh, we've showed you in a previous video, which is using um, the Triton method where you can send out a water sample to an outside lab. Or you can use cheaper test kits like API and deal with the color changes. Salfert, and you know, of course, there's always, you know, the, the Red Sea and the Ellis ones. So one of the nice things, like I said, about these is they do have calibration kits. But the take-home point is, is they're not perfect because if you do find they're off, you're going to have to contact the manufacturer of the test, in this case, Hannah. And, uh, you know, there's some shortcomings with the fact that the phosphate one is definitely a one-time use only. Thank you for subscribing, folks. Check out these other videos we made um, on reviews of products out there for the saltwater aquariums. And please like or subscribe to our channel, and we'll continue to put out great videos like this. Thanks.